Vice President Constantino Chiwenga's doctor was furious that he was flown to South Africa and taken to a hotel rather than a hospital, and Vice President Chiwenga was unconscious when he was admitted to the hospital in July 2019. The Harare Magistrates Court heard on Monday. This was said by John Manguiro, who served as both Chiwenga's physician and Zimbabwe's deputy health minister at the time. Manguiro was testifying at Mary Mubewa's trial where she was charged with attempted murder. Manguiro testified under cross-examination by Beatrice Mtegwa, the attorney representing Mubewa, that Chiwenga's health deteriorated whenever Mubewa paid him a visit after he was eventually admitted to the Pretoria Hospital. She would make sure we all left the room when she paid the vice president a visit. The patient would be conscious when she entered and would be in critical condition and non-responsive when she departed. It would have made his situation worse. Manguiro stated in court. It took place in India and South Africa. When asked how he confirmed his suspicions, Manguiro said, I informed the doctor who was treating him and the security. We intended to install cameras in the space. Manguiro claimed that tests conducted in South Africa by Chiwenga's doctor, Dr. Willie Leo Sealing, revealed that the patient was receiving unprescribed medication. I also felt that way. Why would his condition worsen then? Manguiro was informed by Mtetwa that Sealing had proof that a nurse named Warren Sabanda had switched urine samples that had been obtained from Chiwenga. Manguiro declared he had no idea. Tetwa proposed that the individual responsible for administering the illegal medications need to possess medical training. Did Dr. Sealing provide false evidence? Tetwa inquired. Manguiro responded. I'm saying it can be given by anyone. Manguiro said in court that Chiwenga was transported to South Africa in 2019 in a very bad state. Nevertheless, he denied being the team's leader and denying having issued the order to drive Chiwenga to the hotel before bringing him to the hospital when they got to South Africa. His level of consciousness was approximately 10 15 15 is for a normal, fully conscious person, and 3 is for someone who is still alive. Manguiro stated, he was not entirely cognizant of his surroundings, but he could react to discomfort. He might stutter. He was unable to communicate. He could speak, but he had no sense of place. He was unable to walk by himself. He required help. We had made hospital reservations when we arrived in South Africa, but I noticed the group was making their way to the hotel. When I approached Mubewa, she responded that he needed to relax. Medical.